So NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 30 series graphics cards that include the GeForce RTX 3090 and the GeForce RTX 3080, which are based on the new Ampere architecture, are launching next week, and the memory specification for these cards have been confirmed by video cards. Now there have been several rumors regarding the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series memory specs, and now it looks like the flagship GeForce RTX 3090 will be placed on a purely ultra enthusiast position when compared to the rest of the lineup. Now, according to video cards, the information comes straight from an AIB, which has confirmed to them that the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 will be featuring 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, while the GeForce RTX 3080 would feature 10 gigabytes of GDDR6X. Now, there's a huge difference between the RTX 3090 and the RTX 3080 when it comes to memory capacity, but that's what the Founders Edition cards will end up holding. Now, there is a rumor that AIBs might prepare the GeForce RTX 3080 variants with twice the GDDR6X memory capacities, and that would give the GeForce RTX 3080 a total of 20 gigabytes of VRAM. But we cannot say for sure whether that rumor is true or not. It is possible that a super refresh later next year would feature double the memory, but that remains to be seen, and the main focus on the cards that we are getting announced next week are the ones mentioned. Now, Video Cards has also mentioned that the GeForce RTX 3070 is also expected to be announced at the event. The pricing and general specifications of the cards will be provided, however, more detailed and technical aspects of the cards such as performance, thermals, and power numbers will be provided later when the reviews hit the web. Now, according to the leaked details, the GeForce RTX 3090 will feature the GA102-300-A1 GPU. Now, this GPU is said to be comprised of 5,248 CUDA cores or 82 SMs in total. So that's 20% increase over the cores in the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. No such details as clock speeds, TMUs, ROP counts are provided, and we can't take the Ampere A100 die as a reference since gaming and HPC parts share different configuration hierarchies. Now, moving on to the memory side, we see things to take an interesting look as it's stated that the card will get up to 24 gigabytes of memory with fast faster GDDR6X speeds. And since there's a 384-bit bus, we are looking at it will be able to offer nearly one terabyte per second worth of bandwidth. Now stepping things down to the GeForce RTX 3080, the rumor reports that the card will be featuring the GA102-200 KD A1 SKU. That's a cut down SKU, but features the same 4,352 CUDA cores that the RTX 2080 Ti does, and that's arranged in a total of 68 SMs. Now the card is reportedly featuring up to 10 gigabytes of memory and will be also going to be GDDR6X as well. Now assuming the memory is running at 19 gigabits per second across a 320-bit bus interface, we can expect a bandwidth of up to 760 gigabytes per second. Now the switch to GA102 from the TU104 on, from, that was used on the RTX 2080 is definitely an interesting one. A high-end SKU would also result in a higher wattage and thermals, but we believe that this could be done to raise this bar on the sub $500 segment, which will be comprised of the GA104 based RTX 3070 and RTX 3060. Now the latest performance leaks also show considerable performance improvement over the RTX 2080 and even the RTX 2080 Ti in synthetic benchmarks. Now if that transfers over to gaming performance, then Ampere does look like a super enticing product for gamers who have waited almost two years now. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.